Hello everybody, just a quick preview of the new features added to the tool as discussed on the work in progress forum. I'm just going to add a modeling, drag the script on and say generate. As mentioned in the work in progress thread, the, the voxels class is now a mono behavior and not a scriptable object so immediately you'll see I've removed the floating window and it just has the a regular inspector here. And what's new that you haven't seen before is this minim, minimum penetration area calculation which was came from my semi-smoothing which I decided to expose to the regular voxel builds which is quite handy. So let's just click that and you'll see a whole bunch of voxels disappeared. They've just been excluded, not deleted. I always say nothing is deleted from the debug rig. And if I actually say show the excluded there you'll see they all are. So how that, what it's actually doing, let's just show you all make the original model visible it's obviously just checking for a, a minimum penetration and uh, I do this with a two-phase step which first checks the the axis square and I think I use 0.5 for that and if each uh, of the axis is beneath 0.5 of the square it then will check uh, the cube of the voxel and uh, with 0.1 percent and those are some numbers I just tweaked and played around with that seem to work reasonably well all the time there might be sometimes when it's very close and borderline and it might get excluded and you might want it to be still be there I'll give you an example now with the bird which you can obviously just highlight whichever you want and say mark them back and then they'll be visible again in the main model as you can see there so let's just delete this model I'm not going to generate a final let me show you with the McCall I'm going to bump this up to 40, generate the model, okay so there's our model, it's looking great, let's test out the min penetration, there we go, so let's look what they look like, so those are all the voxels that decided to exclude. But there are some here, and let me show you, let's go back to the original model, which have been excluded inside there. And there you can see there, which I would actually want, say I, I wanted to remove, the, the wing is arched obviously, so that is why you see these voxels there, there was penetration happening there, enough for it not to be excluded via this calculation. So say I highlight these and exclude them. I now sit with these holes in the wings. So that is an issue. Not an issue. You can just come in here, highlight the, the two voxels you want to bring back, just unexclude them, let's say show active, and there we go. This particular hole here, you won't find a voxel for it in the excluded data. Uh, there was none generated based on nothing penetrating there. So what I have added, and this is what I did today was a means to duplicate any voxel in any direction and it will if you duplicate from the left or the right it will use the the voxel color that you used and recalculate the bone weights as best as it can so say if you want to keep a blue voxel here I'll just say a duplicate to the right there we go and for this hole just for interest sake I'll do it like this and you'll see there we go and these ones like mentioned they are just excluded if you try and duplicate to this area here um, and there is an existing voxel even if you excluded it is going to tell you that it won't duplicate it will abort the operation so say now I try and say copy left you'll see it says a voxel already exists in this position and the duplication was aborted so if I show the excluded there it is and that's why it didn't duplicate so we can just bring those back in there no problems I might decide to take those ones off the head and what's nice now the generate final is from any one voxel you can get to the generate final you don't have to go back to the original tool as I previously had it so you can just say generate final right there 
and they just pull tap the model. You can hit play, and you'll see it's hundred percent. Including the, the voxel we, we added, we generated manually. Right, great. So those are the updates, and uh, I should be ready to release the tool soon. Thanks.